Hey everyone, my name is Nicholas Molinero from TextFriend.net and today I'm going to be showing you how to install PHP List. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and open up your browser. Once your browser is open, um, go to HostGator.com. I used to use HostGator uh, back in the days a couple years ago. Um, then I switched to a different provider, which I thought was better, but I ended up spending a lot of time trying to fix little issues and having a lot of problems and just really unhappy so I, I came back to HostGator and I found out that they have a really awesome uh, one-click install page where you can install pretty much anything including PHP list so um, first click into the login customer portal then put your credentials in you're gonna be putting in uh, your email password click login Once the page loads up, um, go to the third tab, which says hosting. And then you're going to let that page load as well. And um, hover over software and services, and then go ahead and click it. Then scroll down to where it says quick install, and go ahead and click that. All right, so here's uh, HostGator's quick install page. Um, as you can see here, uh, you can do WordPress tons of other uh, amazing tools so I want you to scroll down on the left column you're gonna come to mail software and you're gonna click on PHP list so go ahead and read the terms um, and then click continue um, you're gonna <clears throat> select the domain that you want to use so you pick your domain and then you're gonna type in lists and that's going to be the folder where PHP list will be installed. And so if you follow the phplist.com instructions, that's exactly the same way that they would tell you how to do it. For the admin email, you can put a, the email of your choice. For organization name, if you have one, go ahead and enter it in now. For the bounce back, um, you can create whichever one you like. Typically, um, the default would be list bounce back, just like that. For the admin username, um, there are a lot of hackers out there. So uh, if you want to beef up your security a little bit, you wouldn't want to use the default admin as your username. You can change it to something specific. And then go ahead and put your first and last name. Then click the Install Now button. And congratulations, you now have PHP list installed on your domain. Um, go ahead and copy the username and password. That's going to be really important for later. And then you click here on the link, which will take you to your domain um, forward slash lists. And this would be um, the subscription page where people can subscribe or unsubscribe. And then once you want to get into the actual admin page, you just type admin after the lists and you just enter in the same credentials that you just saved and you can from this point you can send um, emails you can um, upload uh, a list of emails you can do all kinds of really cool stuff so if this uh, video has been helpful for you please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like it and thank you very much for watching have a great day